welcome to Florida Keys Life. It's Friday morning, the day before spring break, so the kids are out of school. The Oliverios are still here, so we're heading out to the Gulf. It's a little windy on the ocean side. <clears throat> and we're gonna take you out to the Content Keys. I don't think we've, uh, well, we have, I know we haven't filmed out there yet. So we're gonna head out that way, do a little fishing out there and take you along with us. Uh, Haley's gonna see what we got today. We've got a bunch of folks again from southern Utah, so Dramamine and all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> all right, same as yesterday. Wave. Hey. Woo. Good morning. They're visiting, so we're hoping the winds die down a little. Bit. Nobody brought bananas, right? Nobody. Okay. All right. Let we me learned that last year. And then we should be good. All right. Then we got Aubrey Living Rex. Aubrey Living. All right. So we're gonna take you along to get fuel. We get we need it in the water at Triton Marine Center here on Big Pine. So normally you get fuel from a fuel truck because it's substantially more affordable and it's 87 octane. So if you're wondering, here's the Fuel Dock Triton Marine Center. We've got a little YouTube channel, so we just okay, help cool, people cool. know what's going on. So big wide canal getting down to here. Good fuel. There's always people here ready to help. Okay, so we're heading out to the content keys here. So I want to show you uh, how we got there so you can see the kind of problems we had. So here are the content keys here. And it's no secret we live here on Little Torch Key. Here's Big Pine Key. In our previous boats, we've gone through Big Pine Channel and up through here and right in here it gets real shallow now the time to go out to the content keys is at low tide so when we're running out it's low tide at 11 11 on this day and we're leaving nine o'clock ish or so we don't want to uh we're running through here rather at low tide so this gets like one to two feet at low tide uh, i dry 18 inches of water so on plane, it's obviously a little bit less, but that's tight, too tight for comfort. Maybe a high tide, I might come through here with my new boat. My previous boat was a Yamaha jet boat, no problem. So we come down and around here through Niles Channel. This is a 40-foot clearance bridge, and this is a deep channel all the way through. Well, I guess deep relative to the keys, five to six feet at the shallowest spots. So easy run out here to the contents. Then when we come in here to the contents, the other problem we had is that this is the first time in this boat and the first time with garments. My previous boat had Simrad, so I don't have the tracks from my previous boat. So I've been in here. So there's a difference in navigating between what you see and what your chart plotter is telling you. Uh, and my chart plotter is telling me there's plenty of water in one area, but my eyes are telling me different, and you'll see what happens. Okay, so just to show you, Garmin's detail isn't great in this area. As you can see, it looks like there's water off to the right, and that's where I go at first. But the channel's actually off to the left, and you'll see that we have a little bit of a problem. Now, I hauled the boat after. We didn't have any damage to the boat or anything, because you want to go real slow and easy and take your time. 
say any of this is it doesn't give you any detail simrads gives you all the detail exactly where the channel is and all of the where all the stuff is this one under any mode doesn't show it shows this all as green one foot it doesn't show you where the channel is but there's a five foot channel right over there it doesn't show you that okay regs again look at me i'm gonna try to go just right through here on the inside of this sandy part to get back to that deep blue channel over there that dark blue water is what we're trying to get to I thought it was so I'm gonna try to skate to right along the edge through there. there. Hopefully there's enough water. And I'm like, oh, I don't have my swim bottom on. <laughs> Turn the back. But we're good. We changed it. I'll just change it all. Liv, Liv and Jocelyn, come over here to this side. Balance this out. How are we looking? Hey, there's another ray up here off the port side. That's kind of scary. Right there. What is it getting scary? What? Okay, look at the bottom. Are we good on depth? I don't care about the shark. You gotta balance out the boat, honey. Come on. Not balance out? A little shallow over here. Is it a bonnet head, Regs? No, it's like a black tip. I know, I'm like, now, now the odds of me getting in the water. We're still pumping water? to the contents. I don't know how much of that whole beaching incident made it on camera, but I'll try to walk everybody through it because new garments don't show the detail here. I've, last time I came through here with Simrad showed all the details, so kind of sucks. Uh, you 
can maybe kind of see, you can kind of see there's a deep channel that runs through there, not marked on the garment. So under fishing chart, navigation chart, or the relief shading chart, it doesn't show it. However, I remembered it. We just got a little bit out in the middle there that got kind of nutty. What do you think, Rags? <clears throat> wow. It's as beautiful as it gets. Tricky getting here, but content keys. Let me get the drone in the air and make it cool. Content keys. Let me get in here. I'm gonna shove you off. <laughs> Super cool. I don't know. Aubrey, you've been out here before? Yeah. Oh. Should go explore all the dry spots. Contents footage is kind of long, but I had a hard time cutting out, especially the drone footage. It's so beautiful out there. Uh, but after uh, a couple hours there, we went out and did some fishing just on a little uh, reef spire that came back up from around 20 feet up to 13 feet. There's not a whole lot of structure out in the Gulf, so the few pieces of structure you find, and we found this spot, and it was just loaded. With fish. Mostly undersized, but the kids and everybody had a great time. You're just this right one's here. That one's rolling. Whoa. <laughs> this is barely six. Barely six? Yeah. You gotta lift it up. Baby yellow Let me tail. Get there. I got a better measure down here. There you go. Oh! Hey, this guy. Look up, look up what you can keep these, Kanye. This is a better one. Port? 
that fish. Carol, you want to hold that? Film it's really colorful. What's it called? Pork fish. What does it look like? I'll show you just a sec. There we go. Get that on an eye. A grunt pork fish? Pork fish. Jocelyn. Pork fish grunt. What a cute. Oh, that's cute. He's got to be. He got him in there. had some bottom rods out while we were uh, fishing with the jigs and I had wire on the end of those leaders because I knew there's lots of kingfish and other mackerel in the area and we kept getting broke off even with the wire I kept having to lengthen the uh, wire leader because uh, we were getting cut off just above it uh, probably happened three or four times and then I have a long leader now a long wire leader like four foot long and we got this fish hooked and you'll see what it is. Oh, Dad, right. he's running, he's running. Go, go, go. Under the boat. Bring it, get the gap. The gap, oh my gosh. You did this. What is it? Baby Gary. There he goes. There he goes. 
Okay, watch out. He dead? No, oh. he'll go. Oh, come on, buddy. Come oh, he'll make it. There he's like, all right, I'm out. Okay, now I'm we out. Can even out the boat, guys. All right, after a couple hours of refishing, we decided to head back for home, and on the way, we decided to troll some shallow water dive plugs and picked up some action on the way back. Is there a fish on it? I think so. Come on, I have you. It's a Spanish mackerel mm. with the uh, dots on them as a Spanish. Like the okay. Yeah, we got. Yeah. I want to hold it. Brain and bleed. Yeah, I'm going to hold it. Hold it now? Okay, Dad. Wait, 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 wait. Hold it up to my yeah. dad. Wait, Dad. Here, hold that. Hold that. Uh, dad, take a picture with it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you want me to take a picture with it? Yeah. Look at that. It's not my fish. It's Tony's fish. It's a. Oh, it's slimy. Oh, it's slimy. <laughs> yep, there he goes. So Alright, Tony, get all over here. It's like a tarpon. Okay, I'm not, it's not spiky <laughs> underneath here. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Okay, hold on to that and then hold on to the rear end. There you go. Hey, you want right, to wash my hand? Oh my god, hole. you got blood all over your hand. Oh gosh. Let's get him back in the water. We might as well troll on the way back. Yeah. And not even after five minutes of taking back off with the same lures in the water, we were on again. This time a little bit bigger fish. Oh, Us. Tangled. This is tangled to that one. Yeah, okay, so so bring that. Is it over or under it? It's, it's over. over. Okay, so bring it over. Give it to me. Stop real quick. Right over it. Keep going, Mom. Right. You got it. Let's get this over here and out of the, get off the camera. Okay. Take it up to the rod holder in the bow. Leave that in the water. Keep, okay, so now we're going to have to pull it out and, and we got to keep the rod pointed towards the fish. Hold up, Mr. Smidge. There you go. It's just not a rod. Dad, what is it? It's probably a king. What? Okay, we got. This is so exciting. That. Where's the guy? Where's my. Where's the guy? Where's my dog? This one was fighting a little more. Yeah, that one took okay. off. Give me the blue pad, is between the seats right there. I got it. Someone out, let me film over Oh my gosh! Yeah, that was insane, Reagan! You just yes, got that sucker! Oh, we're gonna kill it! No, 
That was so scary. Oh, I feel like Rain they pulled me under. <laughs> Why is it she? No, because it's rain. Turned him off. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that was a big one. Woo! <laughs> no wonder I was like struggling. <laughs> I'm like, hey, move your fit! Move your fit! I need a heavy one. Mom, I need a picture of you holding your fit. Reagan did the gapping. Nice job. Woo! Yeah. That's bigger, yeah. You better hold your fit. I know, I'm trying to think of how to hold that. Just like this, you hold them right through. Near the gills? Right through the gills. Right by the oh, tail. Oh, oh, oh. Hold them up like that. Okay. Hold them right there. Hold them right there. Good job. All right, Yay. you got the thing going? Oh. Woo! Yay! Look at that. Yes. About a 30 pound king right there. Look at those teeth okay, on that pig. And the rig buggers with the you gaff job. Yep. Got it yep. done. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hey, woo! Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 Yeah.